with new developments on a westerly motel fire. Fast flames tear through the Aqua Star Inn, leaving several people without a place to stay tonight. As investigators try to find the cause of the blaze, we've learned the local Red Cross is helping out those displaced by the flames. Iowa to Sioux reporter Katherine Sotnik joins us now from our mobile newsroom with our top local story tonight. Well, amazingly, there were no injuries to report in this fire, but many people were told actually lived at this motel. They lost everything and we're told that a dog also perished in the fire. Eyewitness News first at the scene Wednesday as fire flames from the roof of one of the buildings at the Aquastar Inn in Westerly. Lisa Ogrodowitz, a cleaning lady, tells us she was one of the first to spot the flames. She ran to notify residents. Once I saw the flames, I dialed 911, said it's a fire, please come and then just knocked on everybody's door and made sure everybody got out. This woman credits Ogrodowitz with saving her brother's life. He was sleeping. He works third shift at Walmart, so he was sleeping, and if it wasn't for her banging on his door, he'd be consumed in the fire. So, yes, yeah, she saved my brother's life. The owner of the inn tells us many people live there permanently. This woman tells us she's been staying there because her other house burnt down. Every little bit I had left from my house was in there, so that's... I said, I have nothing. The whole Burn thing is gone. Shoes. And we're told a maintenance yeah, man tried to put the flames out immediately. He opened the door and there was all the smokes coming out. So he, it, well, there was a dog there, so he tried to grab the dog, but he couldn't even get in because it was so hard. The owner of the inn tells us 38 rooms were destroyed in that one building. Two buildings were told are okay. The cause of the fire still under investigation. The fire marshal is still on scene investigating. It probably won't be determined until tomorrow. When they get back, they're going to come back tomorrow morning. And the Red Cross is helping those people. The victims displaced by the fire were told that there is a shelter open at the Springbrook Elementary School. Again, the Springbrook Elementary School. Westerly police are also helping with this investigation, and we're told that they should be sending out some type of news release on Thursday. Reporting with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Katherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.